Mojang Studios has brought to us one of the most anticipated games this spring, Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft Dungeons is Diablo meets Minecraft. While playing, the player gets the feel of the Diablo gameplay with the art style and characters of Minecraft. Hello everyone, Abilie here. I was one of the few who did not know what I was getting myself into when starting to play Minecraft Dungeons. My husband had been wanting to play it, so I was ready to try it out with him. Minecraft Dungeons is an action-adventure game with some dungeon crawl aspects to it. On May 26th, we were a few of many who immersed in this action role-playing adventure game. We were ready to sit down, save the villagers, and defeat the arch illager and his army. It ended up taking us about six to eight hours to complete, if you included the secret levels that we went back to complete. Although that might seem like a long time to some, it didn't feel like it was that long. It didn't hit me until we were starting the final level for the second time that I realized how late in the night it was getting. The interaction in the game made it easy to continue on and not continually look at the clock. The creators did a nice job of locking in its audience with trying to get all the gems and open all the crates. The music and sound effects also made the game more enjoyable. The music would start getting more intense whenever a harder boss would come and was soothing during the visits back to the camp. There are a few games that I don't really bother turning the sound on, but this one helped make the gameplay more enjoyable. Coming into this game with very little Minecraft background brought some concern to me. It was nice to start and not worry about my lack of understanding the storyline. I was able to jump right in with no issues. The gameplay made me really think of that of the gameplay in Diablo. The pickup of the items, the special attacks, and even a special treasure pig all brought back memories of Diablo. I am sure that was not the intention of the creators, but I am sure that I'm definitely not the only Diablo fan out there who thought this. There were a couple things in the game that I did not fully enjoy. I wish that there would have been an option for some sort of class selection. At the beginning when you are choosing your character, you choose from a list of just basic characters with no class. I wouldn't say that you would have to have only classes, but it'd be nice if there was some sort of option for those who would like to choose that. There were times that the verticality of the levels became a challenge. Sometimes I would come to an area that had a drop off point and thought that I had plenty of room to pass it, but I would end up coming too close and would fall off. And the shadows and the parts of the art style sometimes cause problems with knowing where an area began and ended. Overall, I really did enjoy playing this game. I think I enjoyed it more because I was able to play it with other people. I'm not sure I would have had quite the same experience if I would have played it by myself. We were able to pick it up through Game Pass on the Xbox, which was very nice. I'm not sure I would have spent the $20 for it otherwise. Although I did enjoy playing it, I am not sure I would play it enough now that we have completed it to make it really worth it. I may go back to make sure that everything is unlocked and that we got all the chests when we went through it, but that might be it. If it ever did go on sale, I would highly recommend that you pick it up. It is a fun game, especially to play with friends. Thank you everyone. If you liked my video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment in the box below for what you'd like me to review next. We'll catch you in the next video. Later.